Hi guys. Last week we discussed uh, get in late and leave early for a story or for a scene. Make sure that you don't spend too much time leading up to a story and don't go too long after you've made your point in your scene or in your story itself. This week um, is the granddaddy of all sale sayings in my opinion, which is show don't tell. We are screenwriting, so it is a visual medium. We really have to show what we want people to see because they can't read it. Like in a novel where you could sort of say, she thinks back to a time or she wonders whatever went wrong with her previous relationship or she doesn't think she deserves the success she gets. You have to show people having those feelings, having those thoughts in screenwriting because it's a show, don't tell. The most uh, common place where people sort of make this mistake in the early days is when they do a, a character description, when they introduce a character for the first time. It will be something like, um, uh, you know, Sarah is, has a no-nonsense attitude. Well, we don't know by looking at Sarah that she has a no-nonsense attitude. You have to show us that as the story unfolds. Or um, he's a lovable rogue. Again, we have to see this. This is what the story is going to be about, is explaining how he's a rogue, but yet is still charming and lovable and charismatic and people like him. Um, you know, she has a short fuse. So you describe it in the character description. Um, you know, Sarah has a short fuse. But then for the rest of the movie, she's tolerant and she seems to be, you know, takes her time, she's caring, she's empathetic, she doesn't get angry with people. So that <clears throat> she has a short fuse is not a good description of her. So you're better, and the person may even be confused, waiting to see this short fuse come, come to bear, and it never does. So show people, don't tell them, because the person sitting in front of the TV, watching your show, sitting in the cinema, watching your show, streaming it or watching it on their phone wherever they're going to be consuming your visual version of your story when your story goes from paper to performance the person that's watching the performance watching that filmed performance doesn't have the luxury of reading that you once wrote down that a person has a short fuse that whatever you write in that character description is for the reader and that is to inform the reader of how a future performer may perform these words this dialogue walk across a room but to say someone has a short fuse and then never have them act emotionally in the story is a stupid description. So you've got to show them, and if you're going to use some sort of description like that at the start, it has to be to play out. It has to be seen as we go along. But you've got to use visual things. Um, he walks with a certain way or a certain manner. That can be visual. Think of the start of Saturday Night Fever with John Travolta. To describe his character walking down the street, so he walks back towards the paint shop, is completely different to he walks back to the paint shop with a dance in his step and an attitude, taking the city around him like he owns it. That's not the description of Saturday Night Fever, that's just me remembering the opening shot and thinking how he does it. So that is better than he walks down the street a confident man knowing that he's this and this. You can't perform that. But if you say he walks down the street like he owns the place, you can get that attitude. You can get the John Travolta with the, the legs slightly sprayed out, walking with his hips forward, yeah, walking with a dance track in his head. So he's got that rhythm going as he walks carrying a tin of paint. Um, so describe things visually. You can't say, um, you know, Sarah is the smartest person in the room and then we never actually see Sarah be smart. So you can't use... It's cheating in a way. You can't tell the reader what they should be feeling, what the character is feeling, if it can't be seen visually. Because after all, this is screenwriting. Show, don't tell is uh, a little bit hard to get your head around. You can tell people things in your screenwriting. You can tell people that a person's frustrated because that can be acted. You can tell a person that they're... The, you know, they have a, a, a simmering anger because that can be acted. You don't have to sort of describe what um, being angry looks like. You know, his face goes red, his lips go thin, his eyes, you know, go beady, which is a one way of describing anger. But it's easier to say he gets angry because the reader may have a different performance in his head of what angry is compared to what you describe the actor will be doing with their face. 
And that also may not be the actions that the character in their mind would do for anger. So emotions and things that can be acted, you can put in as a tell, but mostly show people, show people the things that are happening in your story. Um, if you'd like to help, leave a like, a comment. If you comment, we'll get back to you and oh, we can have a conversation. If you want more articles or things to read, you can go to griffithscreative.com.au. Uh, we're also going to be launching a second series. We had a podcast called Logline. That's going to be moving onto this channel. So if you want to have your logline read out and have it discussed, go over to Griffiths Creative and there's a button there for leaving your logline for the logline podcast, which has now become the logline vlog. Again, if you'd like to hit the thumbs up, leave a comment or a thumbs down if you didn't like it, uh, subscribe because these things are going to be coming out weekly. But until next time, keep writing.